Are you having trouble uploading your book cover to Amazon KDP? Well, this video will help. Welcome to my channel or welcome back, blessed authors. This is Tahira. I am a Christian author and teacher and self-publishing consultant. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to upload your Amazon KDP book cover. And so first, you need to make sure that you have the right dimensions. Amazon is very, very specific with what they want you to upload. So you're going to make sure you go to kdp.amazon.com slash cover calculator. Once you're there, you're going to see this screen and you are going to select what you want to do. In this case, I'm going to do a hardcover and you want to pick black and white. You can select your type of paper. We're going to go with the basic white. From reading, we're going to go left to right. That's the standard. For measurements, we're going to go with inches. And now these are all of the sizes that they have in hardcover. I'm going to do the standard six by nine. And then my um, devotional is about 128 pages. And then you are going to hit, now whatever your book page is, you can put 150, you can put, you know, 120, whatever it is, you put it right there. Then you're going to hit calculate dimensions. Now, this is the most important thing. Now, if you're using Canva, which I, you know, am a fan, I use Canva to make my uh, prayer journals, then you can actually download this whole template and upload it as a photo. And I'll show you guys in the next um, screen uh, what that looks like to help you when you're designing your book cover, if you're doing it yourself. Or even if you professionally have it made, make sure that they have this cover. But this is what you need to put in, where it says full cover. The width should be 14 by 1047 in height. Um, this is what you're going to put into the inches when you go to uh, create uh, to make sure that you have the right margin. So just number one, okay? But I'm going to show you guys because I'm actually in the process of self-publishing a new book and I already have um, a dimension that has been working for me. Um, and so it is already downloaded. So with Canva, you can upload it and it shows you all of the dimensions and the spine and this will be the front to the right and the left will be the back cover. And I have already designed my cover. So I'm just gonna go up and I wanna download it. Now this is what's very, very important, okay? If you're having issues with uploading, make sure that you have it as a PDF print. Let me say that again, PDF print. Amazon will not accept your cover if it's not a PDF print, okay? And then I am just going to do the first one. Let's download that. All right, and I'm gonna put the date. All right, so I've already started my creating on Amazon uh, this new book. So I'm just gonna take you right to the upload. So I've already uploaded my interior, but I wanted to show you guys because this video is specifically about uploading your cover, okay? So when you get to this part of the self-publishing uploading process, and if you wanna see a whole walkthrough, I've done many tutorials on my channel, Tahira Gift. You can, I'll make sure to link um, a video to this or look in the video description for a full self-publishing um, video. So you're going to hit upload a cover you already have print ready PDF only. Okay. So go ahead and hit upload your cover. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but it is a patience game sometimes with Amazon KDP. All right. Save is successful. All right. So it may take a couple of minutes for this to kind of process, but your book cover is now uploaded. Now you do want to make sure that you launch the preview, launch the previewer. So let's go ahead and see if it's ready to show us. It's preparing your files. 
All right, so the print previewer has loaded and this is what your cover should be like. If it's no errors, then it will have a approve button right here. But if there's an error that came back, that means you need to go back and fix something. But the cover will look like this and then you can go through all of your pages as well and make sure you like it. And if there's something you don't like, you can simply exit the print previewer, go back, modify it and upload it again. But because I know that I approve of this, I'm gonna go ahead and put approve. Now, this is the hard cover. I do recommend that you also self-publish in the paperback, but you're going to have to make sure that you also do the cover again. So let's go back to the cover calculator. And what we're going to do now is we're going to change it to paperback, still black and white. You know, I have the same uh, pages. I'm still going to also do a six by nine. And then I want to hit calculate dimensions. Now you will see that these dimensions do change. And I already have, I believe I already have this cover in 12.538. Let me go back. I have it in 12.5. Oh, I have it in 12.88. Okay, so I do need to change it a little bit. And if you just need to resize, you guys going to go to... custom size and then I'm going to go ahead and I've been I did a lot of sizes but I'm just going to go ahead and put it in here now let's see what was it again 538 okay let's go back okay everything else is the same I just need it to be 538 then you're going to hit continue And then I always hit resize. Yes, it did resize it. And I am going to edit it so I know that I have the right size here. This is going to be today's date, 6, 27. And then it's 20, year 24. All right, and so I am going to go ahead and download this so that I can do my paperback, but I won't walk you guys through that process, but I just want to show you how quickly you can use Canva to resize uh, for a paperback so you can upload it and not get that error message. So I hope that this was helpful. If you, like I said, if you need help with the whole self-publishing process, um, I'll make sure to link that at the end of this video or in the video description. And um, I just want to remind you, you are a blessed author, even if God has purposed you to write one book or a few books. And until next time, live well, love well, and be well.